Hello everybody and um, welcome to Marty Burns Song A Day For A Year 2020 podcast. Sad Fate 2020. Um, if you want to listen to my music, it's all my songs are all my songs are here. Sadfate.bandcamp.com. Have a wee listen. Um, today it is the nineteenth of April, and I'm about to create song one hundred and ten for the project. So I've gone ahead and I've created an application. Uh, 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 an application. I've gone ahead and I've created an, uh, a project in Ableton Live, and it is called nineteenth of April, twenty twenty, song one hundred and ten. So. What have we got? We've got a wee microphone channel set up here um, just so that I can boost my microphone level without it distorting too much. Hopefully that's just keeping the level nice and even throughout this throughout this video. And then I've also set up uh, two channels, sorry, two channels for my synth. So I've got a Volca set up so I can play my vo a synth. No, that's not it. That's the, the other one. <laughs> uh, oh, sorry. Yes, that's the wrong one. I selected this way. Yeah, so I've got my Volca set up and my Ocos set up. So the Ocos sounds like this. And my Volca sounds like this. Oops. You can hear some other stuff in the background there. Let me just turn that off. There's a piano and there's a module air. So, Volca. Ocost. Cool. Um, so they're kind of set up and ready to go. They're sitting here on my desktop, those two items. Um, and uh, the rest, I am probably just gonna, I'm probably gonna record some things from those, those two synths. Excuse me. And the rest of the track, I'm gonna make up with some signs. <laughs> so, my sort of thought today was to do something around kind of sound design. Um, if you don't know what sound design is, well, let me give you a very quick overview. Um, this is. Probably the easiest way to demonstrate to people what sound design is, is this guy here, Ben Burt. He invented the lightsaber sounds and all the sort of sound effects in the original Star Wars movies. And he, the humming uh, and buzzing combined. You'll hear him here discussing how he made the sound of the lightsabers. Mind is an endless uh, sound. And then took another microphone and waved it around in the air next to that speaker so that it would come close to the speaker and go away. You could whip it by. And what happens when you do that by recording with a moving microphone is you get a Doppler shift, you get a pitch shift in the sound, and therefore you can produce a very authentic uh, uh, facsimile of a moving sound. Yeah, so there's your man. And, he, uh, and then the other guy what he wanted to look at is this amazing character called Gonzalo Guevara. We see this. This is just mind-blowing for me. He actually stood in front of a mic with the film on the screen behind him like that. We opened the mic, and he would use his body and objects and things, cans and various things, and he created a lot of the sounds that you hear in the film. He borrowed an old leather wallet, a cracked old leather wallet that had, as this does, credit cards in it from someone on the sound crew. And he held this cracked leather wallet up to a microphone like this. That became the sound of the little girl's head turning around. Yeah, so that was the, that's the sound. That's the sound the for the sound screen. design for um, the Exorcist movie. Basically, that guy Gonzalo Guevara. Just yeah, I was really fascinated about this because I remember years ago somebody had. I can't remember who lent me it, but somebody lent me a DVD of The Exorcist and this making of documentary was on at the end and they were talking about this guy doing the sound design with just like objects on his body and his voice and things like that. And I was fascinated by it. I was like, wow, that's absolutely amazing. So you don't need all the fancy gear in the world. You don't need loads of expensive synths or software or any of that crap if you've got, you know, imagination and you've got like creativity. I just always find that very inspiring. Um, but yeah, so there's Ben Burt. He did all the amazing sound effects for Star Wars. But this guy, uh, Gonzalo Guevara, did um, the ama amazing sound effects for the Exorcist movie and he didn't need any fancy stuff at all. Another guy worth noting is Eamon Tobin, who is kind of famous for um, his sound design in his own music compositions. I think he has done some... Um, uh, that's quite funny. He has done some um, soundtrack stuff for computer games and things like that, uh, but... He is, his own original music is quite brilliant for 
the complex sounds that he develops and and yeah he's he's kind of pioneered he's i don't know i think he's made some big uh impact in the world of electronic music because his sounds are quite unique and original and they sound quite i don't know like dramatic quite uh <clears throat> complex and interesting but he also kind of always incorporates an acoustic elements into his sounds as well so in this video here you see him just like grabbing recording various things around his house like a chair and um whatever that was that wee little piece of metal and then processing it in various ways to get new textures out of it But yeah, anyway, that's a bit of uh, Eamon Tobin. Check his stuff out if you don't know. I thought in the same vein I'd play this Trevor Wishart piece that um, he made out of just the single sound of a wine glass being like chinked at the side. So you would hear, you'll hear the sound at the very start. That there, that there tiny little sound you hear for a split second is the only sound that he used for this entire piece. The piece is 26 minutes long. We're not going to listen to it all. But um, it gives you an idea of what you can do with processing and manipulation and so on. See, already there, you know, 17 seconds into the piece, already he's done this, this kind of rising pitch uh, repetition of the sound. So he's already got this interesting little trill happening. Um, but from there, it just goes into crazy, crazy places like... Um, I quite like the way he has these big gaps of silence between each event so you can really hear you know you really get the impression of what's going on so much tension um but it's quite clever we really hear if we hear Ooh. Isn't that interesting? That's all from the sound of one wine glass being chinked on the side. And we're only like a minute in. So anyway, listen to that piece. It's absolutely amazing. Uh, really hear this. So at various points in this piece, you know, there's just these massive clusters of sounds, like big clouds of noise. So it gets incredibly interesting and complex, and it's all, as I say, it's all from one sound source. So I thought that was that's a really great example of sound design, you know. And again, you know, your man uh, Gonzalo Guevara and and Trevor Wishart are two brilliant examples of people like using something like a really basic source or a basic set of instruments or something really restrictive and something, and being very creative with it. And um, yeah, so that's sound design, I guess. What else can we say? Here's some guys making sound. Sound so for all this stuff game. sounds really small now. Mm -hmm. When we take it into uh, my office later and start messing with it, processing it, pitch shifting it, uh, distorting it, like it's gonna sound a lot different than this. It's gonna be really cool. Go check one. Yeah, go for it. So yeah, it's just these guys going <laughs> like sound design. They're just kind of showing you sort of how it's all done. Um... We probably process. Yeah, <clears throat> there was a brilliant film that came out um, a few years ago. Berberian Sound Studio, I think that's how you pronounce that, uh, which was all about sound design. A new world of sound awaits you. A new world that requires all your magic powers. Oh, grazie. Crazy man. <laughs> yeah, I think what now um, we'll be working A really on interesting stuff. film if you. Yeah. What did you expect? What's he doing to her? I've worked on a horror film before. Horror film? This is a Santini film. Don't call my film horror again. This is going to be a fantastic film. Brutal and yeah, honest. It's a great movie because um, so much of the movie is set in the studio and it's and the whole movie kind of focuses on the sounds and the sound design. And there's so many scenes where you see these guys just smashing fruits and vegetables on this table in order to get all those horrific kind of crunch sounds and bloody blood curdling kind of horror movie signs um and then last but not least i'll just show you a quick go at this here's another example of computer game sound design 
the famous uh, Mario Brothers um, end of level uh, music, the little fanfare that happens at the end when you complete a level. Oh god, this isn't going to play, is it? No, it is. Right, we all know that sound, we all know that, but what, what happens when you speed the same thing, the same piece of music up to like 350 BPM? The video doesn't play back. <laughs> Burn. Right, why is it not playing back? <sighs> Wait, I should just left it. I should just let it play, shouldn't it? Why wanna play? Come on. Please play. Please play the thing. Well, Twitter is being it. Oh there we go. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna let the whole thing play. Because Twitter's a dick. So he speeds it up. I think he speeds it up to three fifty BPM. Takes ages to speed it up. Just yeah, three hundred and sixty BPM. All right. It just feels like it took him twenty seven seconds to do something that you could have demonstrated in about three seconds. But anyway, and then I spent about three minutes trying to show that video. So you know the irony. Um, but yeah, so basically what he was showing there was like the end of level music. Uh, when Mario goes up the flagpole, um, the doo -doo 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 is the same as the mushroom sound effect whenever you collect, uh, I think it's the one-up mushroom, isn't it? Whenever you collect a mushroom that gives you an extra life. It's just the same piece of music, but sped up. So, yeah, that's sound design. I don't know. That's all I'm going to say about sound design. I think I've got enough. There's more brain burnt. Um, what was this one? Oh, yeah. So that's that. Yeah, let's just close all these tabs. I don't need all that crap um so i don't know i'm not very good at sound design <laughs> just to put just, just before we start i just had to get that in there because <clears throat> i haven't had much experience of sound design and i know some people who do have a bit more experience than i do and they're brilliant at it so i'm a bit weary of trying to be a sound designer i've done a few bits and pieces over the years like i've done a couple of cartoons and i've done yeah i've done bits and pieces for short films uh but not Nothing like horror movies or um, sci-fi. I think horror movies and sci-fi are the, are the sort of real golden, the holy grail of sound design. If you're really into sound design, those are the genres you want to work in. Or computer games, you know, any kind of computer game because, you know, it's just filled with sounds and uh, dramatic noises and, yeah. So I think what I, would, I thought I'd try and do today is create a piece of music that is kind of like... Maybe a bit like the Trevor Wishart thing, where it's it's just taking some sounds and ch chewing them up a bit and taking them to somewhere. So I thought, like, what could be quite fun would be to subvert expectations a bit. So the start of the song could maybe be, like, you know, a little riff, just like a little drum beat and a little riff. And so you're luring the audience into this false sense of, all oh, right, it's going to be a wee song with a catchy drum beat. And then, like, maybe three or four seconds in the drum beat just goes bleh, and just bleh, everything just kind of chews up or spit you know just in, as, a, as if you're grabbing the music and just stretching it out like you know like a flannel just like you know like a flannel um so that's what i'm going to do first i'm going to create the sort of like the the trick part the little sort of sleight of hand bit of um music that's just going to be luring the audience into a false sense of security before the weird sound design bit happens um and it's funny, um, today, like, I was, I was literally, like, lying in bed about um, two hours ago when I came up with this idea, and I jumped out of bed, really excited. I was like, what can I do for today? And I, was, I just had this idea, I was like, why don't you do something that's, like, starts off, like, one thing, and then it just becomes this other crazy thing, and it could be a fun way to sort of, you know, trick the audience kind of thing. And then I just got so excited about that concept that I jumped out of bed being like, right, let's do this! So, here we are. So what I'm going to do is load up a wee drum kit here and I'm just going to create a really simple, like maybe like a hip hop kind of, hip hop, what are those hip hop beats that people have, you know, hippity hoppity I believe it's called, um, something just slow and nice and yeah let's go for like, yeah that kind of tempo, one, two, three and four. Yep, um, that's pretty bad, but I'm going to change that snare, I don't like that snare at all, I'm going to maybe make that a, yeah, a stick, and I'm going to quantize the hell out of that, because that was sloppy, 
Um, let's have a listen. No, I don't like that snare either. Um, clap's not great. Do you know what? I don't like this drum kit. I'm going to go for a different drum kit, folks. That's not doing much for me, I have to be honest. Let's try... Chocolate City I've used a couple of times. I think it's more like garage, urban-y sort of, garage-y sort of stuff, like grime, which I think is a little more acceptable. Yeah, it's alright. I'm going to just uh, trim off the start of that there because it's going to annoy me. Do, 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 do. Not feeling that either. I don't want to spend too long on this because it's only a really, <clears throat> it's only really just to get the first chunk of the song established. Maybe like, just like a pop kit. Hmm. Ooh. Ooh, I don't like that. No. Ooh, it's gross. Yeah, okay. And let's put a wee bit of a... Actually, let's just play it in live because it can do a bit more of the velocity then. If I play it in live. Right, let's try that. Oh, not there. No, 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 no. Uh, whoop, 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 whoop. I guess there's no counting. Sort of right, right? It's grand. Um, let's. Can you even hear it? I like that the hi hats are very low in volume, but I'm going to turn them a wee tiny bit. Why can't I hear this? What? Maybe it's just that one. Very low. Um, I'm just going to turn up my headphones a bit. There we go. I think I'll go do. Bum, bum, bum. Bum, 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 bum. Something like that there. Hmm. Yeah. Something else. Some other resound. Mm. Right. I'll go with that. That'll do for now. As again, because this is just sort of a wee, a wee tricky sort of bit that's going to come in, and people are going to go, "All oh, right, a wee drum song," and then. Oh, it's just going to be one of my songs that has a wee beat and all. And then it goes, no, ha, 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 I tricked you. But uh, we'll worry about that later. Um, actually, so I'm just for now, what, I'm, what I always do as well, just a wee tip, anybody. Um, I always put in a little gap at the very start, just so that when I bounce this out later on, and if anyone plays it from Bandcamp, for example, uh, they don't miss, it, it doesn't clip off. Because a lot of time these players, these online um, music players, when you hit play, they sometimes, I don't know why, but they kind of skip the first, like, sort of, I don't know, point three of a second or something. So you kind of, like, miss a little bit of the audio. It just annoys me. I don't know. It's funny, like, because back in the days when CDs, uh, I'm not going to get into this rant. Actually, sorry, <laughs> I'm not going to get into this rant. I'll just, I'll, okay, I'll summarize my rant very quickly. Um, CD audio used to be really good when you were playing between tracks on a CD player. Um, there was no jump between tracks. So sometimes you could literally have like one track blend into the next and you wouldn't hear any, you would literally hear no gap whatsoever, but the track, the track was different. You know, the track number was different. And that it does not work on Spotify and all these other types of music streaming services that I've seen. They just don't seem to be able to do that, which I find very interesting. It's like we're, we've now lost um, a very simple feature of digital music playback that uh, that we had um, 20 years ago, 30 years ago. And I just think that's funny, you know, that we, we haven't mastered that. It's like people just don't care enough about it to try and get it right. But it, it does annoy me. Because like, if you listen to, like, for example, um, the Beatles... Beatles uh, Abbey Road album 
has a section towards the end, you know, that whole section, uh, what is it, it's like the last five or six songs, all bleed into each other, it's like they're all one big song, well, um, they all kind of lead into each other, and uh, on the original CD, or on the obviously on the vinyl, if you bought the original vinyl, um, you wouldn't hear any gap between those five or six songs, it all just kind of go in as one big, they all play together as one big piece, but if you listen to that, on Spotify now you hear all these little jumps every time it jumps into the next track these little gaps and it's really annoying actually I it just pisses me off because it's just like why have we not been able to like all the technology in the world and we can't like get an online streaming service to like buffer or whatever it needs to do to like you know have that have that work anyway I shouldn't have got into that rant that's enough of that ranting <laughs> let's move on <clears throat> um yeah yeah, so I think even one of these is probably enough for what I want, because that's like about five, six, yeah, even just something that's about five seconds long, or in this case about ten seconds long. So, right, what do I want over this? Some sort, I don't know, some sort of, some sort of like guitar or something like a uh, bass or guitar. I'm going to get guitar to get guitar. I'm just grabbing a wee guitar. <laughs> and, whoa! Nearly knocked things over. Right, I'm just grabbing a guitar. And I'm just gonna plug it into my sound card here. So I'm gonna put it in number three. I'm gonna put number three. And I don't know what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna play a wee riff. And then that, that'll do. Please um, forgive all the clicks and bangs and pops there. Um, so yeah, it's currently, this is, yeah, I don't want to, that's all right. I'm just giving it to the microphone. Okay, so let's create a track for that. Uh, it's gonna be input three. That's weird, why can't they? Let me just get them. I have a wee, I think I created a thing called guitar rack the other day. Didn't I? Guitar and clangy? No. Guitar levels? Guitar rack. This might be what I want. Just has a wee bit of... Kind of keeps us going. Got a tuner. My guitar needs tuned. This is going to be 20 minutes of this. Sorry, folks. So, why is the signal so low, though? It's very interesting. Maybe I should turn the pad off. Maybe is it this? Uh, if I step back, nope, definitely not. Okay, very low signal. I don't understand. interesting well the funny thing happened to me on the way to the gig tonight folks um yeah anyway right there we go that's the tune so i'll just do a wee riff i'll just do a wee something something you know just a wee what's the what's our beat again yeah let's do something picky uh let me try yeah, something like a wee i don't like that guitar pick let me pick a guitar pick that that's actually nice and big Take the low end out, boing, and then take the mid, a bit of the mid out, because it's a bit nasty. Shreem. Something like...
just be a chord even. You could just be like. like even that's just loads of stuff, you know, even just like. Although, yeah, something like that could be nice, sort of. Actually, that there, there we go, that's a riff. Okay, I'm gonna use a weak count in here, boop. But I'm also gonna put it back here because I don't wanna chop off that first note. I'm gonna put a click on. <laughs> it's like the most basic thing I could possibly play and I'm still fucking it up. Okay, I did actually miss a note there. <laughs> I almost feel like it's, I want it to go, you know. It's gonna go to into this next section, but actually that's when we go, you know, that's when we cut it into something else. So we have a big dramatic shift in sound and stuff. So we see, we're gonna go like, bam, bam. Yep. So. Yeah. So by the time we get to here. This is gonna be, you know, this is gonna be a whole new piece of music, um, and everything's just gonna be like, <laughs> or whatever. We'll see how it goes. I want to try and uh, get to. So what I might do, like what I could do. So you see, we're starting with that D. Why is uh, why is it okay? Get a wee bit of a gim. Oh, what happened there? <laughs> We're getting a wee bit of a glitch there on the computer, maybe because I'm recording the, because I'm recording this <coughs> with QuickTime. Might be nice to have a wee ambient sort of texture on top of that. So let's see, whoop, like something with loads of reverb. Um, Whoopsie. Yeah, I'm gonna record that again. I didn't like that. I didn't like that guitar sound. Let's try it again. Two, three, four, five. Yep, cool. So it gives it the sense that it's you know we've got a we've got the starting we've got the we've got the <coughs> we've got the makings of something there. Uh, but I think it's grand. Let's see. I might do some of the drums. The guitar stuff's quite loud. I'm gonna turn it down a wee bit. Boop boop boop. Put it in a wee group. Call it electric. And 
have done. Me. Bye bye. Um, let's see. That's reverb is very loud. Let's turn that down a wee bit. <laughs> okay. Okay, our lead rhythm bit isn't loud enough. There's a wee scratch in that high bit that doesn't want to be done. Yeah. It's gonna get rid of that. Oh, I just sold it myself. Perfect. Okay, that'll do. Um, that's our intro section sorted. Maybe I'm still feeling like I should do some of these drums. I don't like using. I don't like using dry kit on a you know a dry kit preset without doing something to it because <laughs> it feels feels like cheating or something. Just do that and then have a wee velocity swell so that it gets, you know, better. So you don't even hear it the first couple of times, which is sort of what I want. I don't want it to be too obvious, but maybe turn it up a wee bit. Yeah, just, just a wee sense of it building to something. Um, right, I'm going to put the guitar away, two seconds. Do, 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 do,
There's loads of stuff in here, it's great. Mm. I think what I might do, um, I'm kind of thinking at some point later in the track, I might have this floating about through some effects and stuff, because it's got that nice randomness, you know, like a that you could maybe like use to trigger something else and you could keep the sort of rhythm off the sort of random rhythm uh, of that could be used to create interesting textures for something else anyway um what am i doing yes so i want to get I, I heard a couple of things in there that were okay that there that, okay i'm going to just take that for a second and oh get rid of the rest of it just for now i just want to see if i can do anything with this maybe not <clears throat> i'm gonna slow it down first of all see as you slow it down it just sounds a bit muffly which we don't really want we want it to be you know it's losing its quality a bit but we're still able to get something out of that i could distort the frig out of that let's put some effects and stuff on it let's just make it really distorted for for a laugh not digging that so much actually i have to say um maybe it's too low maybe try it a bit fast Ooh. i mean it does sound all right at different pitches maybe right I'll tell you what put it into a sampler and then maybe play some multiple pitches with it um put the volume up because we've now lost the uh oh Mm. Playing multiple versions of it at different pitches at the same time could be a nice way to create something a little more interesting. I could loop it as well, maybe. It's got a more granular -y thing kind of happening now, so what could you do to make that more panny? That's very interesting texture, yes. Hmm. It does have a real granular vibe about it, which could be interesting. Um, playing loads of them at the same time is good. Right, let's see if I... At the moment I'm allowed six voices. Let's try 32 voices. And I'm going to see if... Just in case... Um, hmm, I don't know about that. It's, it's let's record it for now and then we'll come back to it later. So, I'll just record this as a textual thing for now. <laughs> Keep it for now, um, but that's not really what I was going for. So that's there. We'll maybe use it later. Um, is there anything else I can do with this in the meantime? I mean that. That's interesting. It sort of sounds like a record player, you know, skipping. got a really nice i really like that rhythm see if you put a bit of filtering and stuff on that that could be really fun just a subtle sort of um band band or band pass right do you know what i'm gonna do i'm gonna create a copy of the sampler and change a couple of settings so yeah we'll take that out of that one this version of nope did that wrong uh, there we go so this version doesn't have the filter this one does and this is just going to be our rhythm and it's going to have this slow filter sweep thing happening oh yes and turn off this panning thing I quite like that i don't know why i just do maybe if i played an octave lower Um, hmm. 
make me think of like Radiohead. Like pull punk revolving doors. that's something for later on like maybe the end uh okay right so we still haven't got the thing that we were initially setting out to do there which is a sort of crunchy a sort of dramatic crunchy sound so uh kind of like that is quite dramatic i keep accidentally turning myself off that's quite dramatic but it's you know, there's a lot of hiss, and I'm gonna get rid of that one. Let's go for something else. Um, let's see what else. Gorilla breathes. Oh. That's very interesting. Is that really a gorilla, or is that a person <laughs> pretending to be a gorilla? I think that's a person. That's quite an interesting collection of noises right there. Um, what can we do with that there? <laughs> oh, Jesus. Didn't realize it did that. <laughs> I mean, that could be our dramatic sound to start off the transition from. <laughs> That's actually cool. Um, chest pound? What's chest pound? Ooh, that's bloody great. Listen to chest pound. It's got a lovely thumpiness to it. He's he's beating himself. Tee <laughs> um, Right. Let me just grab that one. And then we go like that there or something. And then like that there. And then... Yeah. Okay, that's working for me. Uh, that's a nice thump. That's a really good bassy thump. Okay, so that could be that there, right? That is about two or three seconds, is it? That could sort of be uh, something, and I'll uh, keep that audio file for later, maybe. But anyway, yeah, so that could be our sort of even having with the bits, you know. You know, that could be our first sort of sound event, events. When we're, yeah, this is one of the things about like sound design and, and, and sonic art and stuff, that people talk about sound as sound events. Like Pierre Schaeffer and all those guys. Ugh, I don't remember any of their names. <coughs> but they're, we're talking more about like signs being events rather than uh, Rather than what, I don't know. I'm not going to stop even pretending that I can remember any of those academic terms. But events in that, you know, this is one event that contains three different sounds, you know. Okay. It needs to do something. So uh, I think I want more sounds as well. I don't think three is enough. I'm going to have maybe some other thumpy. That's quite good. Ooh, listen to those roars, man. That's class. <laughs> what? That's insane. Okay, so that's now the more dominant sound in in the in the sound event. Um, what I think could be interesting if this one. I need to stop doing that. Um, <laughs> I wonder if there's a way to get, whenever you solo stuff, just 
like never solo this, never meet this one or something. Is there any way to do that? I don't think there is, but oh no. I'm wondering if like if I send it out a different output anyway, never mind. <laughs> So maybe this one could do a sort of panning thing, or it could go into some reverb, or, you know. I don't really like that so much, I don't know. I was thinking, yeah, let's do that for now. It's kind of interesting, so we could kind of. And, and a wee bit of panning. So it starts in the middle and then it goes off to one end, it goes to the other end, something like that. And then kind of. Yeah, cool. And. Maybe a wee bit of reverb on the end of it, just as it ends, just as it comes out of that bit. Just go whoosh. Like that kind of thing there, like we need to bring it in a wee bit earlier. Um, okay, didn't hear the reverb because it's turned off. You silly moo. Yeah, I'm gonna turn it back on again. Oh, where's that? Boop. Yep. So keep it at about minus six. Yeah, I mean, you're getting with a wee bit there, but... That's more like it. Okay. Why is it taking so long to save? Hmm, having that weird wee bug where it's taking ages to save. It happens sometimes, I don't know why. Moving on. Okay, so let's hear what we've got. We've got... Cool, I like that. <clears throat> what I thought would be nice too is if I reused some of this bit and chopped it up so as it's going over here you could have a wee bit of could be a wee sort of glitchy texture that sort of floats around so what i might do then in that case is i'm going to bounce that out as audio so i can use it as a single audio file i'll just call it like music bit <laughs> I put it in the wrong folder. I put it in yesterday's folder. That was silly of me. Where are we? Ah, you put it in the wrong place. Oops. Oh well. There we go. Right. Now, uh, what do I want to do now? I want to create an audio track. Boop. And I want to put in the new file into the new audio track. Ooh. So, what I'll do is. What I'll do actually is, yeah, okay. This is going to be a bit of jiggery pokery. Slice to new MIDI track. It's always a bit of fun. Yeah, five slices is fine. Oh, pardon me, folks. That was quite rude. Anyway, let's move on with our lives. It's all right. So that kind of thing, you know, I could do some kind of fun let things with that. Uh, let's put some effects on there. I want to get it quite squelchy. And like a sort of a squelch. Don't really want it to be doing that sort of panning thing, so I'm just going to make it mono. Yeah, it's kind of more. It's kind of the ballpark, yeah. <laughs> 
something along those lines but uh, you know i only wanted to be in for a couple of seconds like so i'm just gonna record uh, something and then mess around with it so let's see two three and four <laughs> Okay, we're still hearing the that one there, so whoops, turn that off. Yeah, so this isn't very loud, <laughs> but that's okay. I mean, I maybe don't mind if it's quite quiet. That's yeah, maybe a bit manic. Um, let me try. And... <sighs> it's really annoying. That that is really really annoying. <coughs> fine okay here we go oh yeah i'm not gonna turn i'm just gonna turn off the kind of because i don't really need it this yeah so i want to kind of get the Interesting when I when I bring in more of the bass. Has its own wee sort of rhythm going on there with the, when the bass is in there. What does that sound like with the other stuff? Yeah, it's far too long. I just want it for a, a, about like half of that. And what I thought might be nice. Yeah, it could fade off into the delay, into the echo as well. So maybe. So even like, even like that. I'm just gonna draw in a wee, yeah. I'm just gonna draw something like that there. And then we see. No, something like right. What's the pattern? change the loop length as well so I'll just edit that a wee bit just towards the end so just kind of do something like that yeah maybe like even more than that oh it doesn't seem to be able to do more than that at all yeah this kind of thing yeah that's that's nice <laughs> Hmm. Okay. I think. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'm liking that there. I might even record that if I was sort of resample the audio. Uh, just that last chunk. <laughs> Oh look, it's picking up my voice. No! <laughs> I'm gonna have to turn my mic off to record that, so uh, you're not gonna hear me for a few seconds. I'm sure you'll be glad to hear. Okay. That's a snack. So what I was thinking there is I could take this as a texture on its own and uh, put it into a sampler Boop. and then uh, we play around with that a wee bit. I love that we ring into the reverb thing. That's quite nice. Uh, 
But then I also thought what could be nice is to reverse it. We've got a very long reverb tail here, so maybe like from here. That's kind of nice. That's quite nice, that reverse thing, isn't it? Um, I mean, in playing that, different pitches could be really fun. like that that's give me uh future sound of london sort of vibes um which i'm definitely digging so i think i'm going to record a wee bit of that <laughs> Digging that, yeah, that's that's great. That's like, that's like our next sound event. <clears throat> so we've had our dramatic growly sound event, and then we're going into this nice pad. Something else needs to happen there, like, um, but this bit, so around here, it gets a bit empty. Something else needs to be, what if I could take the original, I could take the original recording and stretch it, maybe do some nasty stretching to it, like, make it sound awful. <laughs> Good old stretch. Ah, no, I don't know. It's a bit sort of played out, the whole stretching thing, isn't it? Unless you can do something... Maybe... No, it's quite fun, actually. I sometimes found that just playing with the volume can be really nice and get some really lovely swells and stuff. See that plus a load of effects could be quite decent. I'm gonna do that. Here we go. I'm gonna record that. I know I'm not. I'm gonna record over it because I'm a foolish person. Here, <laughs> here we go. Right, I'm gonna have to like be very fast. You see, I might just set up a wee MIDI uh, thing here. Ooh. Um, I'm gonna set up my MIDI. No, because it's not plugged in. <laughs> Plug it in, you fool. Just plugging in my little MIDI controller here, my little Korg. <laughs> my little Korg, it's so nice. Oh, is it working? Is it working? No, it's not working. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, is it working? Is it going? Yeah, there we go. Right. <coughs> yeah, so I'm just going to do the volume on this little fader here on my MIDI controller. And go. Okay, that'll do. Um, there you can see that little automation thing that's just what I recorded there now. Um, yeah, that's not bad actually. I'm quite happy with that. I think with a load of effects, as I say. So let's try piling the effects on, like just piling them on. Um, there's a lovely, lovely, lovely green type delay thing that I've used before. I think it's called the Grange. But I might try and keep that for later because it's so nice. I don't want to overuse it. And it is... Yeah, I can't remember who does it. Destroy effects, is it? 
Cable guy? Nope, I'm gonna have to Google it. <laughs> or, uh, where is it? Okay, let's put it on there. I don't really want to use it for this particular sound, but let's just have a wee listen. Sure, it might be fun. How are we doing? What's that? I don't like it. Uh, it's not working. I'll use that later on for something else. Um, because it's really good for all that sort of massive washes of lovely ambience and stuff. But for now, I want, I don't know what I want. I want something like a, uh, what do I want? Maybe like a, a sort of grain delay pitched thing, but, but not maybe that either. <laughs> something like that, but not that. That's, that's definitely more interesting. Yeah, digging that. Um, and then uh, a sort of phasery thing, maybe, to put it all together a bit. Yeah, so this is not bad, but I think the sound itself needs a wee bit of automation. This grain delay thing needs a wee bit of automation so that it doesn't sound so uh, just like grain delay. So if I play around with its parameters a wee bit, I think it might be far more interesting. So for example, I'm going to leave the feedback quite low. So you can hear that sort of really, 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 as it's kind of coming in and out. And uh, I don't know, I feel like that's giving the game away a wee bit. Um, right, let's play around with spray. Let's just record some automation here and just see what happens. It might sound fun, it might sound right, it might sound crap. Alright, let's try it again with a different parameter frequency. Yeah, alright. Um okay, right, fine, that'll do for that for now, but uh I don't know. Not sure how I feel about that sound overall, to be honest. <laughs> do you know what I do? I'm gonna I'm gonna record it. <clears throat> I'm gonna resample it. So yeah, I'm gonna turn my mic off for a few seconds while I record this. Yeah, I mean, it sounds alright on its own. It's actually not that bad. I wonder if it's reversed it. What would we get? What would we get? If good old reverse effect. What kind of thing would we get? Let's just uh, hear that. Actually, leave it over here.
Yeah, I quite like that. That's actually far more interesting. And it's reversed. It's got a bit less of an obvious human fading up and down a fader feel because it's reversed. You don't it doesn't sound as natural. It's a funny thing, like when you do some of these things and you play around with automation levels and stuff, like it sounds just like somebody's just playing around with the knobs and faders and that's bad. It's sometimes you don't really want it to sound too much like a person sort of intervening, you know, that you don't want yourself to be obvious if you know like oh, I don't know, does that make any sense you don't want yourself to be in the mix if you know what i mean if you're trying to like make people pay attention to the sounds and the you know, the drama of the sounds you don't want yourself you don't want them thinking about you turning a knob or pushing a fader because that takes them out of the out of the moment really <laughs> Okay, that's making me think that the level of this could be played around with a wee bit as well. Maybe it's just a wee touch, not too much. Like maybe, well first start I think it could come up a wee bit, it could be a bit louder. <laughs> even about there is enough of that i'm just realizing as well this all came from that one wee chunk of automation from this sound this little that we bring bring that all this stuff came from that and this is kind of fun um so maybe i should incorporate this again but So yeah, I'm definitely feeling like that's with both of those together. So the, those sort of last two um, sound things, <laughs> I don't know how to describe them. We've got that kind of, <clears throat> I've got that um, tail from that other thing down here. And we've manipulated it in a couple of different ways and then reversed it. But the original one still on, to on top of the reversed one is actually kind of nice. But now I'm thinking, right, I'm thinking this first event does need something else as well. Almost like it needs some drums or something. For some reason, I'm, I'm hearing like some big dramatic hits, like like a mm, like a big synth chord thing, almost like a big blah, 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 something really melodic and thumpy at the same time, like a big smashing kind of chord, dissonant sort of chord thing or something. I don't know. Hmm, yeah, what am I thinking here? What could I do that with? I could do it with, um... I could do it with, like, for example, get the operator. Good old operator. Which is just that boop, but I could do it, turn it into something a bit more squarey and bashy and... Like something like, oh, like that. If I turn that there on, and then turn that there, and make it do the volume for that there, which is part C, and then turn these ones off. Get a nice wee, yeah, get a nice wee. Quite like that. Um, so yeah, that's kind of in the ballpark. Um, a big sort of bashy chord thing, but maybe make it very short. So. so quickly maybe I need to it doesn't 
really. It doesn't have the break. Listen for that. Hmm. Ooh, here we go. It's more of the brightness there. Yeah! Right, so let's try if I hit a random in here and then a random chord and just do some random chordness. It's all a bit. I did all around. See, it's, it's a very interesting thing about this. Sometimes people ask, you know, does does the order that you put your effects in matter? And in this case, uh, like the order that you put your devices in does matter. So on one hand, we're, we're, we're triggering a chord here, triggering a chord, and then the random is picking different notes for every note of that chord. So it's giving us a different chord every time. <laughs> So it's picking all these different random notes. Whereas if you put the random before the chord, you're picking one, I'm playing one note on the keyboard here. I'm just pressing, I'm just playing a G on the keyboard. And it's giving me a different random note every time I press um, the G, it's, it's giving me a random single note. And then the chord is turning the single note into that chord. So it's always gonna be the same chord sound, but in a different key every time. So, which is quite interesting that you know because that's just basically swapping them two round the order that they're in changes very dramatically the flavor of what you're getting there so now we're getting different chords every time whereas if you do it the other way around we're getting the, the same chord but in different keys very uh yeah there you go every day's a learning day right next what i might actually do it might be a bit mad but i think i'm going to do it anyway is <laughs> just for pure colossal madness um, I'm gonna do both at the same time. <laughs> I'm gonna call this mad chords. So what I mean is, I'm gonna have one that's chord and then random, and then I'm gonna have one that's random and then chord, and I'm gonna play them both at the same time. Let's hear the hell that sounds! I mean, that's quite similar. That is pretty much what I wanted, like. Yeah, um, I'm also going to change the voice capacity of these two synths to be 20 voices at the same time, just so I can play multiple, uh, just so I can play multiple voices uh, if I press more than one key down and that kind of thing. So let's save that. Um. <laughs> it's giving me some lovely dissonant stuff there, and uh, I like, I really like the sort of crashy brightness of it um so it's basically when we get this big growly thing something like that really would be enough um yeah like okay or yeah that's okay but maybe some lower notes too so I'm just realizing our reverb is only fading up because uh, uh, earlier on I put in this automation for the reverb to stop straight after the guitar part. So maybe what I'll do is I'll create a new reverb channel. Uh, it's just the I'll just put the exact same reverb on it. Oops, pressed the wrong button there. Um, Put the exact same reverb on it. <coughs> Excuse me, but this time uh, we'll not have the we'll not have the uh, we'll not have the what what am I saying? We'll not have that automation thing. So what I'm saying is this one can just go through a reverb separately. Yeah. So here. <laughs> it's quite loud. Actually, turn it down. A little Okay, let's hear what we have so far. Right. 
cool. That's I'm pretty happy with that. We need something else about here. Yeah. So we're gonna like And it could be just more of these chords, maybe just Oh, listen to that. Oh man, I could play that for hours. I just love that. That's just so dramatic and ridiculous. So maybe right, tell you what. I'm gonna record some of that. That's nice. It's got some energy to it. I'm gonna resample that, so maybe I'll reverse it as well. Give it a reverse. So I'm gonna turn the mic off here for a second while I record this. Back in a second. Lovely. That's just lovely. On its own. I don't know. I don't even want to do anything else. I just want that. <laughs> just that playing on its own is just delightful. But I'm wondering, like, uh, for this section of the track, maybe I could turn these off and bring that in. Something like that could be kind of interesting. Like, sort of, this kind of thing. I mean, at this point, <clears throat> I'm not really sure what I'm looking to achieve, you know? I'm not sure what sort of flavor I'm going for or what sort of my agenda here. Like, I just wanted, I knew that I wanted the song to start with this kind of riff and then to just, to just you know, fall apart into this world of crazy sound design. But uh, from that's about it, like, <laughs> I don't know what else I really want to do. So I was just thinking there, like, because you could kind of make these chord things they could play around with these chord things and make them sound more like a you know like a sort of uh stockhausen sort of early uh mid 50s stockhausen tape sort of stuff where he was getting he was doing sort of stuff like this with tape and um, which in itself is completely bonkers but yeah um you could do something like that you know make it i could make it try try and make the whole thing sound more like a sort of you know uh sort of i could put I could make it sound more like tape, you know, I could make it sound more cut up and sort of lo-fi um, to sort of, as a, as a sort of nod to that era of music, I guess. But why? <laughs> why would I want to do that? I don't know. Um, let me just hear if I put a couple of those notes back in towards the end. I'm just going to listen to that here now. So... I'm not really blown away by that reverse thing, I have to say. It's not blowing my mind, I must be honest. Maybe if I just used it once, but I put it through a big massive reverb. <laughs> so just like. Yeah, I like that a lot more. Actually, hold on, I'm gonna just. Fade that out a wee bit, there's a wee bit of a click. That's nice, you know, just that once is is a nice little event. So let's go back. Okay. <clears throat> I 
I had this weird moment there where I thought it'd be really fun if like all the things that are happening there um sign you know basically like for example if I put a filter over the entire mix well I don't have to put it over the entire mix I could just put it over no I don't have to put it over the entire mix because I want the reverb well I don't have to put it through the entire mix okay I'm not going to put it through the entire mix let's just try a wee thing here this is a bit silly but I'm going to root the reverb back into the program so I'll just say reverb back into the um what do you call it what do you call it the arrangement so I'm going to send it to this track called reverb and then I'm going to put all these tracks that I've created so far um let me see I did it there all of this and this and this I'm going to put it all into a group Ah, I've just figured out a way to... Oh, no, maybe not. Never mind. Forget I said anything. Okay. I'm going to say first event. Right. So what I'm thinking here is... Now, hang on. Oh, wait. I need to put this second reverb in there, too. Damn it. So where's reverb? Right. Create another track. Reverb 2. Reverb 2. Yeah. Put reverb 2 in here. Um, so my thinking here is right everything we've heard so far in in terms of the sound design stuff I'm putting it inside a group and then I'm going to treat the group um, I'm going to color it differently I don't like that brown <laughs> like it really matters anyway I'm going to uh, put like a filter or some sort of effect on the whole group that kind of turns it all into one event that kind of mushes it all together in some way it could be like compression it could be something more subtle but i'm going to be very drastic and do like a really awful like filter thing it's going to sound terrible but it's just a sort of proof of concept type effect i want to see if this sort of works in term in theory like and then i'll make it less crap afterwards <laughs> That kind of thing. So it, it all the sounds are filtering out together. And then I like that idea of them all kind of being grouped together in that way. Um, but yeah, how do we, where do we go from there? But I don't want that, I don't want it to be such a crude Thing. I don't want it to be like a filter sweep down. I want it to be something more. I mean, maybe I could take these ones out of the group. These three or four. I uh, these four. Right. Actually, bring you down here. Moving things around is quite fiddly in Ableton. <coughs> Uh, come on right so if I take these four tracks here and take them out of the group and they can be like they're, they're they're basically sound event two in a sense so if I just take them out of the group oh no what have I done I don't know what I'm doing right yeah yeah that worked cool thank you and then I just group them separately as a new thing so this is going to be sound event two that's going to call it second event oh my god okay and then so that way they won't be affected by the filter sweep so what do you hear although i need to now i'm gonna fix that in a second so now that reverb you're not hearing that reverb that was previously on this bit so I need to like either turn the reverb back up or um, you know just put a new reverb on that. Uh, right, okay, that's fiddly. But hold on, we'll, for, we'll sort that out in a second. Um, do I want that filter sweep, or do I want something else? By the way, I don't need this. Oop. Okay. Um, I think I want something else. <laughs> Maybe it could be like a bubbly sort of kind of filter sweep. It's not really very obvious though, is it? Ooh, that's exciting.
See the thing I really don't like about um actually sure it's grand, I'll not complain about it. it. I just wish you could had more control over these LFOs in, in Ableton. They're a bit they're a bit meh. Um what am I doing? I'm putting the LFO here. No, you can't you have to put the LFO on an audio track for some reason. No, not an audio track. What what? It has to be a MIDI track. MIDI effects before instruments. Oh right, okay. It's just annoying, like, because I don't want it for. Um, I don't need it on this track. Oh, I need it on. Anyway, shut up, Martin. Stop complaining. Right. Uh... <laughs> right. Anyway, I'm going to go in here, and I'm going to go here. Yes, that's what I want. Yeah, that kind of a vibe, but that's a bit too dramatic. I want it to be more slower. No, that's not really what I want, is it? <laughs> God damn it. Um. Yeah, that's more... It's sort of like a bubbling cauldron, you know. It's like the sounds are just going into the into the into the cauldron. Okay. Do you know what? It's fine. <laughs> it's okay for now. Now, I do need to create uh, a new reverb channel. I'm probably gonna end up creating quite a lot of reverb channels in fairness oh i just put them all away that was silly um boop, boop, boop. and i'm just gonna take the same reverb that's the same lexicon plugin that's you know nice and i'm gonna use it for this bit here originally i was fading this up here so let's have a wee look and then what i'm gonna do is copy that onto another channel so if i go like that and then i go da -da -da, da -da -da, i should be able to just paste it Yes, and then I can just delete it from here. Boop, cool. So, oh no, wait, I put it on the wrong one again. Dick. I wanted to put it on this one. Sorry, the the new reverb. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh, make it pre fader. Yep. Just one that we she help yeah. Okay, I feel like I'm getting too stuck in this world of glitchy digital things. There was a squashed bake, a squashed baked bean on my floor. I just picked up and was like, "What's that there? Oh, it's a baked, it's a baked bean. It's all squished." No, it's not, it's too, it's not, it's too washy, you know, it's too, it's too much of that. I want it to be more, you know, snap bang, you know, more, what's the word I'm looking for? More assertive, you know, I want the sounds to be more, you know, so. So once we get this, shoop, I think it's like time for a big, big, big change in terms of textures, everything. You know, I want something a lot more. I don't know. Um, what do we want, folks? I think like maybe bring back the guitar thing. Where's that guitar thing? I think it's in the first event here. There it is. There. No, it's not. It's the dog. Uh, dog eating. That's the guitar thing there, isn't it? 
create an account here because it's all filtered. Is that why I come here? Oh, there we go. Um, <coughs> yeah, maybe like, uh, right, do you know what to do? Yes, I know what to do. Right, I know what to do. I know what to do. I know what to do. I'm going to create a sampler. And uh, this time, I'm going to put that guitar recording in it again. But this time, uh, yeah, last time it wasn't a, it wasn't a sampler, it was a drum rack, and this time it's going to be a sampler, so I can play around with the pitch more. So we're going to have, uh, what's going on there? Let's see. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Yeah, we're going to play around with the pitch of this a bit more. Because I had that thing earlier on at the very start, well, very near the start of this, I had that um, rhythmic thing that was quite fun. So maybe some, maybe that could come in here. Where are we actually? So where is that rhythmic thing? There's there. The gorilla breathing and stuff. So if I... Um, let's see what I'll do in here. I'll create a new audio track. And uh, put that gorilla breathing dog eating crunchy biscuit thing whatever down here into this bit we come on yeah there you go and then maybe bring that in over here so we've got this big swell and then maybe straight into this sort of, oh no wait that's the wrong thing where's the ah, there's there dog eating have i used this yet no i haven't okay put that in here then good so i was thinking bring that in over here so we're going swell and then Bring that wee groovy thing, so like this kind of thing here. Let's have a listen to that. Turn that off a wee second there. Right. See, it's kind of interesting actually because the rhythm is, uh, it's almost like the other sounds are, are kind of complementing the rhythm. more interesting like you know all the sound design stuff that's going on around that sort of <laughs> makes it a lot more I don't know a lot less boring basically like so I'm kind of yeah I'm thinking I might keep that what can I do I think just turn it up I think it just needs to be turned up I might use the drum bus the drum bus is really good at the transient thing Making the transients stick out a lot more. Hmm. Okay. <coughs> what was I saying before? What was I going to do before I got into that? Um. I don't even remember now. <laughs> I've completely lost my way. <clears throat> oh yes, I was going to bring in back the. Oh yes, that's 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 right. I brought bring back the recording in of the guitar thing. I'll play that. Yeah, oh, that there's nice. Hmm, it's got a real uh, Chris Morris jam quality to it. I quite like that. Like you know, I quite like that. There, nice all day. That's pretty good. So maybe I could bring that in. timing that was quite interesting there it did that bam bam just as that ended so that was kind of nice i like the timing on that i wonder if i turn that up a wee a wee touch just a wee touch just a wee uh, just a wee six db or so let's see that there I really like that bomb blong 
Um, it just, it just has that nice stoner vibe about it, real, you know, swanky. Yeah. Um, okay. Let's listen to what we have so far, just as a reference to how it's all coming together. <laughs> I mean, I like that. <laughs> I quite like that a lot. Um, we see how long now. What's next here now? What's next here now? Um, <laughs> I, oh yes, that was the other thing. The filtery, swashy thing. I don't like it that much. I think it's kind of shit, to be honest. So um, anyway, I'm going to take it out. It's only going to come in here for a start. Yeah. That's grand. Yeah, that's grand. Um, now, also, what needs to happen when that kind of swells in that That there. Is that from here? I think it's this track. Oops, pressing all the wrong buttons. Um, is that this track? I think it's this track. No, it is. It is. It is that track. I don't know if I turn it on. See, that's. I think that's better. I think that's. Mm, yeah. I think there's too much going on with all these bits here. Like, maybe just even just have them. like everything's a bit too just disjointed so this crunchy eating dog thing I might take that out for the moment okay let's see what's going on here okay right okay 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 yeah, I'm gonna turn that down and then have it come back in just as these other bits in because that was a really nice wee touch earlier. It was like a wee accidental thing. Um, so, yeah. <coughs> okay, okay. <coughs> We're slowly getting there. We're slowly getting there. Okay. So I might bring the dog thing in just as that other bit fades out. So let's try it again. Some reason in my head there, I just had the, the, 
don't know why I came into my head. Um, I had the idea of like a big wailing, wailing sort of horse noise. A big <laughs> through loads of reverb. I don't know why. Why the fuck did that come into my head? It's so fucking random. Like, um, yeah. <laughs> Do I have any horse noise? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just that through loads of reverb. I don't know why. It just really appealed to me suddenly. I just thought that'd be really fun. I don't know. Maybe like. <laughs> um, it is very future sound of London. It's supposed to have like library samples all over the place. I'm trying to turn it Nah, need the dry signal a bit more. Nah, it's sort of like. <laughs> That sound is quite nice the way it ends. It's almost like it almost sounds like a campfire, like all the kind of Do you know I think it'd be quite nice? Do you know I think it'd be quite nice? Yes! If I get the wee a wee sort of panning thing on that. Excuse me. So that um Something like that would be good there. Like that. Yeah. That's a little bit of fun. <laughs> right, I'm gonna need to get out of that sample or do something different there because I can't just have that playing, can I? I could, like. <laughs> Could um dum It's a nice wee sample like boom boom what else could I do with that? Tell you what, let's see if I can do some Oh do you know what might be nice actually I've got a granular thing that's quite fun. Maybe play around with that. Oh, let's see. <laughs> also, just want to add how freaking awesome it is that I can uh, just hit play in the middle of this sample and it just plays where it's supposed to play. So flipping good. Like normally, I'd have to go right back to the sample to be able to trigger it and hear the whole thing. No, I don't have to do that. It just knows where to play. Crazy good. Crazy good fun. <laughs> So yeah, instead of it being like, I don't even know what pitch that is. There's there. Yeah, so I was thinking instead of having that one play a different chord, just have that one. What am I doing? Why am I making noises? Why am I doing that? Yeah, that kind of vibe. So we're going to be going. <laughs> see, I think. Blurk. I see it's not actually okay. Okay, okay, okay. It's triggering the sample. It's triggering the sample in the wrong place. It's okay. I think it's about here, maybe. Okay, let's try it again. Early. 
That's a pain. Like, see, so the thing I, I said was so amazing that Ableton does now, it doesn't quite work with um, certain samples. So I just keep having to listen to this bit over again. Find, find the bit that I want. Fuck it. <laughs> I mean, there's a way around it. I keep, I keep, I keep going between not swearing at all and then swearing quite a lot. So uh, apologies for that. But, um, yeah. Basically, what I'm trying to do is um, I want to, I want to keep it looping around that bit. The down bound. Perfect. Um, aye, nice one. Really chuffed for that. Worked out quite well there. <laughs> oh, we bit early. Sorry, folks. Bad looping, Marty. Bad looping. There's what we want there. Boop. <coughs> Fun times. <laughs> That's a really nice sample. I really like that. Um, okay, so I'm gonna just rip the ass out of that sample and have it loads of times, and why not? So, what do I want to happen over this? Just end with <laughs> just big squealy elephant noise or something. Do I have elephant? I think I've got. I think I do. <laughs> I actually used that in the previous song. I think it was day twenty or something. Yeah, I mean that could be quite nice. It's just. A... Sound. It's not how much it sounds like a trumpet. Um, right. Maybe it is. Maybe they were cheating. Maybe it's not a real elephant. Yeah. I mean, this this isn't really sound design. Just having this loop over and over again, but it's <laughs> it's quite nice. It is quite nice. I like it a lot. Um, but what do I do on top of it? What do I do with it? I quite liked... I quite like this um, horse shuffling thing and I thought this this could be a really lovely... Oh, sorry, turn myself off there again. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. Tell you what I'm going to do, folks. Oh my god, I just had the modest idea. When you hear this, oh my god, this is mad right when you hear. Oh my god. Um... So what I'm gonna do is loop it, you know. I'm just gonna loop it. Um, that's nice. That's that's the wrong key, but it's that's. I don't know why that texture just gives me so much joy. So I'm gonna just bring that in under over the top of that beat, and I'll fade it in later. But for now, I'll just record it. Yeah, that's lovely. 
Hopefully. Mmm. Dusty textures. Dusty. That's what you want. You want dusty. Dusty crispy textures. <laughs> okay. Uh, I was going to make that loop. But maybe I don't need to. Because it's doesn't need to loop it's quite long enough as it is but I might fade it in we I mean, are we done? I think we're done. <laughs> it's not very sound designy, like it's went from like sound design to just uh, a sort of trip hop thing, but something else like um when that kicks in i was thinking about doing some vocal thing like a sort of uh, oh do you know what i haven't done i haven't used the synths at all um mr uh old coast and Volca. so maybe a wee bit of that yeah. i could do some oh Ooh. oh that could be quite nice over that See, this is just gonna pure turn into like a <laughs> like a proper like trip hop fucking thing now. Uh, down, down. kind of vibe, but you know what, folks? I like it. I like it. Um, to like. Yeah, it's not in tune really, is it? Um, do down. Although that out of tune this is kind of nice. Maybe I want that. Maybe I want that. I want it. Give it to me. Let me see. I mean, that's quite strange, but I like it. Fuck it, I'm gonna record it. So yeah, it's a weirdly out of tune textural thing, but I kind of like it, guys. Nah, I don't like it. It's pish. What am I on about? That's total pish. Um, <laughs> well, so I do like. It. Do a wee bit of um, mucking about with the synth here, so I'm gonna grab some patch cables and see what we can do. Here. Maybe mess around with the pitch or something. Let's see what's going on.
noises out of it. synth like but I don't know if any of them are very suitable for this particular point in the track. I'm gonna record them. They're they are they're definitely workable. I can do something with them. I kinda of, I like this sort of chaos of that. but I like it. Just turn it down. Just have it as a real background thing. Could be kind of fun. It's, it's almost like a bass or something, you know, it's like <clears throat> somebody playing live bass along with the drum beat, but it's like, it's got this nice buzzy, muffly tone to it. I like that big swelly bit. horse thing where is that horse thing because it's not it doesn't feel like it's loud enough I'm gonna take a wee bit of the low end off it actually because it's gonna get too chaotic in the low end just gonna wipe some of that out Weep. Pretty chuffed with that whole thing going on there. I, I'm just thinking like, uh, yeah, maybe a wee bit on it. Aye, about there. Yeah. Um, 
my only gripe here is that we swell thing didn't really happen enough so what i'm thinking might be kind of interesting is if we do something like this layer it up and put like one off to the side but like don't know, maybe it might get a bit too little And then put this one to the left and then have it a wee bit later again but like just a wee tiny bit later or even like sort of like this kind of thing Oop. but like have them all creep up quite slowly so like but that when it comes to that big like, sort of vibe you're only just about hearing it so like they're kind of like Minus 30. I actually don't even need to automate it, just leave it at minus 30. So this sort of, sort of sounds like there's a delay effect, but uh, it's, it's a little bit different in that I can kind of have more control over how many times it repeats, and it's just repeating the once. I suppose so it's not really much difference to a delay but i like that it's um no i think i think i am going to change that a wee bit i think what i'll do is i do want it to be a bit louder do you know what to do actually mm, i've got an idea of course i do of course i have an idea i'm going to i know what to do right i'm going to squash the absolute crap out of it take out that tuner boop Squash the crap out of it, man. Now you can't hear it at all. I can't even really hear it. Is it just because it's so loud? Well, that's really interesting. Yeah, I was thinking it might be fun to make it very muffly. Kind of like. But that's a bit. Why is it so low? Hold on. Turn it up a bit. Yeah, that's fine. I think I'll put that on both of these extra ones. And the idea being here that it's just thickening up that sort of overall texture, but creating a little bit of interest, sort of subtle kind of, I don't know, subtle movement to it. But overall, I don't want it. I want it to come in a bit slower, so like, we're getting to about here at this point maybe, maybe that's too low, but yeah, so, mm, kind of thing, I don't know, let's try that. I don't like that. Um, take away that. No, change my mind about that. Clear that envelope. No, clear that envelope. Burp. No, it's. Maybe just have this one come in a wee bit later. Why am I not getting that big? Yeah, because of compressed it so much I don't know if I want it so much I, 
Yes, okay. Okay, that's, I'm happy with that texture. I think on this horse thing as well. So, um, I like this. I'm thinking what I might do is add in some more. No, but I don't want it to be that busy. So let's it's just something that's like, that, that there is quite nice, but I don't want it to be too loud. So I'm actually just gonna. I'll tell you what, I'm just gonna grab that sample. Oh no, actually, hold on. Yeah, no. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, <laughs> gonna make a copy of the sampler and I'm gonna make the sample be more loop based. And uh, yeah, it's the note I wanna press is up. Like, it's an octave higher, but it's up here. It's like an octave plus three or something. Um, whatever. And I'm going to, yeah, let's hear that. Yes, let's go in and make it a loop, because it's not a loop currently, and it's gonna need to be a loop. And I'm gonna use the backwards loop thing, because that can be fun. Let's see. Across like this. Nope, guess not. How about this? That's more of the crack I want there. That's nice. Maybe I'll get like two of these bits and together. Mmm, that is tasty. And maybe even bring in a third one. That's a lovely, lovely texture. Hmm. Hmm. Where's the other one ended? The other one's ended in there. I'm gonna put a wee marker down here just so I know where I'm going. Boop. So all that there. Bye bye. Um. Go away. Oh. That's so nice. Right. I like that. I like that a lot. There. Nice. So I might turn it down a wee bit. So. Yeah, let that fade in a wee bit as well. Don't bring it in just so straight away. Just kind of maybe like, ooh. So like. Nah, it's too soon. It, it needs to fade over a longer period of time, I think. So. actually thinking I like it so much I might bring it in earlier I might bring it in before the other one and then just actually have a go right until the end because it's lovely it's a lovely lovely sound Ooh. Ooh. yeah I'll do that there I just think it's very very nice so when we go into this chunk with the beat Right, even slower, even slower fade in, even slower fade in, much, much slower. Okay, let's try it again.
Yeah, happy with that. I think that's it. I think that's me. I don't think it needs any more. It's pretty... That section's quite tasty. One of our, well, actually, one thing I was thinking of, just one more thing, was to do a wee sort of pitch-shifted layer on top of the... So we've got like... Yeah, just to be a dick. <laughs> yeah, it's quite a nice sort of silliness thing to do there. It made me feel about a wee bit quicker. Maybe. <coughs> Do we get very silly and just create a big massive chord with about like five of them? Let's try that just for the kick. So, like, make this one really low. Mm, yeah. Much, much longer sound, but I think that's okay. and me like all that mm. it starts to just become a bit silly isn't it like don't know if I need all that like sure how I feel about that you know maybe three of them is enough yeah it is it is definitely right okay. Bye. that's it okay so I'm gonna listen to the whole thing from start to finish and then I think that's us done let's have a wee listen No, I don't like the lower one. It's too long. Um, I don't know. I'm not. I'm not really sure about this. I've kind of lost my way a little bit with that whole drum beat thing. The whole nice. Um, it's nice, man, but it, yeah, it just feels like everything that happens before it is just kind of then um, forgotten about. And I forgot about the lovely big chord thing. The big chow, 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 chow. What I thought would be fun as well um, would be see the, 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 the original sample, right? Um, it's going to have to be in this bit here, actually, right? All right, so I've got the original sample there. What I was thinking might be fun is. So it's going. <laughs> And it finishes doing that. 
in like um uh, yeah so the idea I thought was make it really like make a big long I think it was sort of along those lines, like. Almost like that, yeah, but that's not quite what I had in mind. But yeah, something like. Um, then. can't do this little trick you used to be able to do in Ableton where you could just copy and paste by using the arrow keys because they changed the arrow keys. <laughs> Something along those lines, so it's like... <laughs> but... <laughs> it's not quite what I had in mind, it's more like... I wonder where the drum kit, right, where is the actual, yeah, the, um, yeah, do you know what, I don't think we're done here, I don't think we're done here, I actually think there's loads more to do, I'm just realising, because I haven't used much synth stuff, and, well, I don't know, I don't know, I feel like, right, anyway, yeah, I'm going to go, like, for that there thing, so it's like, so, like, uh, where are we? Hi. So I'm reusing the real drums, but uh, it's gonna be a pain in the hole here. Let me see. How am I gonna move it down here? So we'll just put them there for now. Well, that's in the wrong place, but anyway, it doesn't matter. Yeah. So we have a drum beat. Fiddly F part and then Yeah, kind of vibe. So like, maybe I could get. What was the thing? Uh, I had that sampler thing from earlier. Um, is it this one? Yeah. Maybe do it like that. But I think at this point in the track. Just to have that sort of glitchiness happening there. Yeah, that's doing something for me. If I maybe put in a crash. Could be nice. Uh, on this one. thing I didn't quite use um, very well maybe like <laughs> I think I need something else going on here so like I didn't use the Volca maybe I could try and use the Volca it's not working it's not working why is it not working? Because it's not plugged in. Ah! There we go. There we go. Hmm. Hmm, that's nice. Very, it's very like 
you know, 70s sort of, it's like Superman or something, you know, like some kind of a sci-fi film, the bodies, the bodies are coming towards you. Or like a slow motion montage of somebody falling. Ah, slow motion montage of people uh, falling off buildings or something. This could be you. Anyway, um, yeah, that could maybe work over the, just after the horse. <laughs> kind of painting the picture here aren't we we're kind of yeah the horse has just knocked somebody somebody's just fallen off their horse and then <laughs> right <laughs> ah no it's, it's doing that thing ah! right hold on i have to turn this annoying thing off where the hell is that off damn mother right <laughs> <laughs> I just record the MIDI channel and then I'll automate the synth separately. So I'm not gonna have this very long. It's just it's just gonna be like that, about three seconds of it or something, just to have something like you know what I mean. So uh, right, and then I'll just fart about with the filter while it's playing. Here we go. Oh wait, need to record the audio. <laughs> uh. See the way it's doing that choppy thing? That's not acceptable, I'm afraid. That, why is it doing that? It's not doing that, That's weird, okay, let's do that again then. Okay. Oh, it is doing it again. What the fuck, what the f Flipping the heck. No, something's going on there. It's trying to um, step trigger. Is it that maybe? Let me try that. That's weird. <laughs> Seems to be it now. Okay. Uh, right. Hmm. Hold on, why am I hearing it twice? What the fudge? Why am I hearing it twice? <laughs> so confused. So confused. Um, yeah, that's what I thought I'd be hearing. Did I hear it twice? Oh, I know why. Because earlier I recorded guitar through that same input. And it's probably still turned on. That's what's going on, isn't it? I think so. Probably something like that. Where are we? Maybe not. I don't know. I'm hearing it twice. Ah, there we go. Nope. <laughs> oh, so bad. Why am I getting that twice? That's absolutely driving me up a wall here, like. No, sir, I don't like it. I know, because this is turned on. That's what it is. Ah, stop it. There we go. It was because this channel was unmuted on the outlet. Anyway. <sighs> don't like the way it fades out like that. Is that not playing? Fuck, I don't know. Lots of weird wee things happening here that don't make a lot of sense. Right, I am going to record it again. I think it should be longer.
a bit longer, just a wee bit longer, mate. You know, we, uh, I just did it there now. Right, okay. Here we go. <coughs> I mean, when the beat kicks in there, you can have a leg of the bones and you can... Stop it! Let me the fuck it! It's going really well, this album, as you can hear. We could change the LFO. I'm gonna double it up, right? And uh, on this version, change the LFO shape. So instead of saw, we could have square, or we could have like triangle. Let's try triangle. <laughs> Turn the little one off just to make it. That's fun. Maybe square would be fun. Let's try square. <laughs> What about, we'll go back to saw, but maybe make it faster. <laughs> yeah, okay, start fast and go slow. Okay, let's or slow down, start fast and slow down. Yeah, let's do that old trick. <laughs> if we play both at the same time but pen them hard left and hard right ooh original <laughs> <laughs> I actually really like that. Um, the only thing I didn't like, um, and I'm gonna fix it right now, is I want it to filter down while the other one is filtering up so that we're getting this nice swapping over kind of thing. Yeah, it makes sense in my head, don't worry. Here we go. Here we go, here we go, here we go. <laughs> Have a listen. Oh. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, that's good. Oops, didn't mean to do that. I also thought there what might, what might be nice is if the horse sound and the synth sound somehow kind of modulate into each other. <laughs> so that, <laughs> be nice, but. <laughs> You can hear we synth thing that's kind of like, let's see, like a sort of, hmm. yeah, I could probably do it like, uh, oh wait, I need to turn on the MIDI track, yeah, yeah something that's like, oh, put this one in the middle, so like, like I could almost be like a, I'll give that a go. Right, that's not bad. Where is the mouse? There is the mouse. So. Yeah, so I think I got the sign, but I didn't, the timing of it wasn't quite right. All right, just get rid of this stuff, don't need this. Uh, yeah, so, yeah. Something like that, maybe there. A little bit early. Are you still? Yeah, that's in the ballpark. Um, I think that, yeah. Just a little bit earlier. That kind of thing. And then go 
get this one to fade in a wee bit because it's a bit too jumpy. It just starts suddenly. <laughs> Maybe another layer of synth that's a little bit higher up, just to give it another sort of like, yeah. So, I mean, like, where are we? Can you buy synth noises there now? Right enough now. Come on, you. Come, come on now. Oh, here we go. Yeah. So, like. <laughs> Yeah, I quite like that. Uh, maybe not. Um, yeah, just slowly turn the slowly turn the resonance up rather than filter. Okay, let's do that. So. Yeah, that's okay. I can't. Yeah, yeah, I'm okay with that. That's fun. Um, so in context with the other ones, I'll just turn it down a wee bit. So here we go. <laughs> oh, because oh, I'm picking up the channel. like want a really sort of weirdly long crash symbol to come in there as well like I could just take one and sample it from the contact kit like oh so if I get um, yeah there's no point even trying to label the tracks I'm not I'm, I'm not even wasting my time trying to like label anything in this one because there's so many random tracks that are just doing you know silly things <laughs> um okay so oh yeah what we need to do is so you're not going to hear my voice here for a few seconds i'll be back in a second i'm back right i'm just going to get that sample and make it really like washy and slow and like oh my god like really really stretch it hell like stretch it so much that it's like oh my god and i'm gonna turn it down i'm gonna put tons and tons of effects on it as well don't worry about that folks <laughs> um let's see how does that sound mm-hmm Okay, and what I think I might do is, oh, where's it doing that? Maybe. See, that's not bad actually, that's quite good. Uh, but what I'm gonna do is, I'm just consolidating that into one track. So so I can stretch it even more. So what do you hear? What if it make it a tone? Oh no, that's awful. Uh, I'm not so sure about that. I mean, yeah, it's sort of in, right, you know what, I'm gonna make two copies of it, right? That one's okay as a sort of noisy noise thing, but I think the other one is just gonna be more like, 
just more like this. So maybe I could like uh, the noisy noise thing. Maybe even have it like fade in. Yeah, so it's more of a textural thing and it'll be like, maybe put a really bit of reverb on it. Whereas the other one's just gonna be more of a standard sign. So I even might sort of move it over a wee bit, so. Yeah, that's nice. Getting that textural thing, and then this one's just gonna be more washy. That we uh, sort of stutter at the start of that. I don't quite want that now. And take that out. Rink. Yeah. Right, I did want to put loads and loads of effects on this, so I'm gonna put there a nice band pass, band notch, band pass, I always get mixed up. Um. Um, yes, the other thing I wanted to do, I wanted to make it like the tail of it lasts for ages because it's so, it's being squished so much, so like, it doesn't quite work. You can see there that the, the sort of level drops so dramatically, so quickly. That's reminding me of Square Pusher's uh, symbol sounds that he uses. Kind of, actually, yeah, that's quite funny. That his album, I think it's Go Plastic, is it? He has uh, he uses that kind of thing. Anyway. <laughs> yeah, that's that's the effect I want, but it's it's a wee bit too loud. And this is a bit too fast. Yeah, I mean that's grand it could it sort of it sort of dies off by about there so i could even like have a slightly smoother fade or no 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 actually no 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 not a fade in that sense i mean a fade of the whole thing so i think the whole thing from about here could fade out a bit more so it's not you're not getting that you can hear the you can hear the limiter being really squished um so i'm gonna just try and fade it out a bit more naturally let's have a listen to that Yeah, I'm really happy with that. I quite, I think the digital thing isn't really cutting through more, so I might move that a bit later. This other digitally washed thing. Let's try it again. Um, I'm not hearing a digital one at all really, uh, but I think that's okay. It might be just helping sort of draw out the tail of this thing. The other thing is, 
Is it a wee bit, there's a wee bit of mid mud, low mid mud in this sort of sound that I'm not totally feeling like, so I might just do a wee bit of EQ on that there. Uh, something like that. So I'm not hearing that digital one, I'm going to be a bit even later. Ah, there it is. Yeah, it's in there. It's just hard to hear. It's turned down low, but that's okay. And also, take out some of the low end of that one as well. Rink. us I think let's get that let's do a, do a quite dramatic fade there just do it. I just want to make sure there's no like I just want to make sure there's no like reverb tails that are being that are hanging over at the very end there um so yeah happy with that um, I think this one is faded out, like you won't, well, mm. we'll do that just to be safe. Aye, so, aye, grand. I think that's us. Um, I'm going to have one more listen to the whole thing, but I think that's us. Let's have a listen to the whole thing. I'm not going to look at the screen, I'm just going to listen. <coughs> Is the mic on? Oh, there we I uh, so I'm happy with that. I think one thing I thought might be nice, thanks, Shelly, was there was a bit sort of around here. Yeah. And then there was a wee bit more. Somewhere around here, I felt like it would have been good to reference the wee do. So, but just have it like, you know, all dreamy and stretched and weird. So let's have a listen to this. Not that one, the, this thing. From around here, was it? Yeah. So I'm going to create a new track. Boop. Oh, whoops, wrong button. Did I just try and grip a single track? I did. Oh, no. We don't want that. We just want to make a new audio track. Wait a minute, hold on a second here, hold on a second here. Did I just group? Yeah, I didn't want to do that. Okay, new audio track. <laughs> and uh, put this put this on the new audio track and then just put lots and lots of lovely effects on it, like reverbs and madness and I don't know, like whatever, just whatever you feel. Whatever, whatever's in your heart, just do it, you know? I just think you just gotta do whatever you feel. It's just like the only way. 
No, it's just gotta be true to yourself. Um, right. So let's not really do another one. Um, turn it a wee bit. Uh, no, it sounds ridiculous. That's a bit more like it. Yeah, it still sounds shite. Uh, maybe distort it a bit. Yeah, that's getting there. It's getting there. Um, another filter, maybe doing the same sort of thing. Screechy, screechy, squelchy, squelchy. On the high pass. Uh, no. Hi. Right, sort of. Sort of what I want. I think I might pitch it up as well, actually. But like, not an octave. Like. Nearly an octave. Hmm. Yeah. And need something else. Maybe it just needs to go through an even bigger reverb. So like maybe just this chunk here. Yeah, it's so like, um, let's try it again. Is that maybe not enough? Let's do that. Yep, 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 yep. And then just as it ends, make it more dry. Yeah, like kind of like this. So. Yeah, yeah, I like that. Um, the only thing I would do is make the first chunk a wee tiny bit louder. And I think, just to be extra pedantic, I'm going to make it uh, mono. Um, no, I'm not going to make a mono. I'm going to make it, yeah, I'm going to start it off mono and then I'm going to make it stereo. Yeah, that's the way I'm going to do it. So like this. Oop. Oop. So. <laughs> That symbol crash thing is quite pleasing. It is quite nice, but it is quite loud as well. I might turn it down just a wee tiny bit. Yeah. Okay. That's it. That's just done. I'm bouncing it out. Fuck this. That's it. <laughs> That's it. Here we go. So that's it. That's uh, that's it. That's it. That's us. No more. That's just all done. All done. Um, so I think I can make it tiny. Yeah. Yeah. Not very loud. Hello. Can you hear me? <coughs> I'm hearing birds outside, so there we go. Right, so that's that. I'm just bouncing it out. I've just bounced it out. And I'm just about to upload it to my survey page. So, um, thanks for watching and listening and sitting through this. If you got this far into this video, absolutely fair play to you. I don't know how much of any of that was useful. Um, <laughs> I don't know. But if it was, please let me know. And if you have any questions, please let me know. Very happy to answer any questions or walk through any of the little bits and pieces that I did. 
Um, yeah, hope you enjoyed it, and please continue to support this project. Um, sadfate.bandcamp.com, or you can go to Marty Burn Music. Dakota UK to see more of what I'm up to, other projects that I'm involved in. Um, yeah, thanks very much for your time. See you later, guys.